Thanks, Doug. Doug. Thanks a lot. Happy to be here. Uh, we just got some short, short words and uh, some cool videos. Uh, the first video is kind of a trip down memory lane. Uh, about 10 years ago, we developed this car called a Ford GT. Uh, everyone thought we were crazy that we were going to build a Ford that we were going to charge $140,000, $150,000 for and uh, compete with Ferrari and Lamborghini. But uh, as it turned out, you know, 10 years later, uh, history says that you know, a Ford GT, if you, uh, if you want to buy a totaled Ford GT, something with a salvage title, uh, it sells for about what the car sold for when it was new, uh, which is a pretty strong testament, I think, uh, to how awesome uh, the car was. And, and even 10 years later, we're so proud of this car. It's one of the, one of the greatest cars we've ever done. So uh, let's roll the, roll the video. That's me. Um, that a car is everything it's supposed to be. In what gear do you know nothing can catch you? Do you know it's the one? Introducing the four GT. This is the one. The pace car for an entire company. So you know the tagline for the Ford GT was that it was a pace car for an entire company. It was really a pace car. Uh, it was that. It was also a pace car for a new era of performance within Ford Motor Company. Since then, we've launched so many, so many performance cars. Things like the Shelby GT500, Focus RSs, Fiesta STs, Boss 302s, Shelby GT500s. Really, just. Performance cars that span such a diverse group of enthusiasts and performance envelopes. And, you know, one of the things we get asked all the time is that, well, you know, why don't you have one brand? Why, why don't you, you know, like Mercedes does AMG and every performance car is AMG or uh, like SRT does that. And we kind of have a different philosophy. And, you know, we design our cars for what we call the the sharp end of the spear and the, to us the sharp end of the spear is the hardest hardcore enthusiast and the more the sharper you get and the more uh, how do I want to say it the more hardcore of an enthusiast that you cater to the more those groups diverge and really want their own very particular set of things and that's what we develop there and our performance cars too. And that's, that's why we feel it's more appropriate to, to draw upon the vast collection of really incredible brands to really hit that sweet spot for that hardest core, most difficult to uh, impress enthusiast customer. And that's what really gives us uh, you know, that momentum that we see in our marketplace. All of the performance cars that we develop, uh, we, this is our performance pyramid, and uh, we go from something what we call high performance, like an ST brand, then we go to extreme performance, which is something like an SVT Raptor, or uh, a Focus RS, or a Shelby GT500. And then the top of the pyramid is what we call elite performance, uh, something like a Ford GT. And, and that's basically, comprises the universe of, uh, and each level you go up in that pyramid, uh, you get uh, more and more exclusive, higher price, higher performance, uh, and uh, you know, you're, and the, the customer base gets you know, sharper and sharper and sharper, more and more discerning. 
So before we start this video, this is a uh, kind of one of our latest vehicles that we just introduced as a Fiesta ST. Uh, it was developed by uh, our group in Europe. And uh, the guy that you're going to see, is uh, his name is David Putt. He's an absolute genius. He's a Belgian, crazy guy. Um, but he was just uh, awarded the Vehicle Dynamicist of the Year Award uh, out of Europe. And that's uh, coming from a pool of every Japanese, American, uh, and European ve vehicle dynamicist. And uh, the guy that's developing our stuff uh, is, is the man. So um, here's, let's roll this video. Sorry. <laughs> Every time I see that video, I'm, I always think to myself, that sure doesn't look like a front-wheel drive car out there. Uh, so that's such a fun car to drive. And this is its sister car, uh, a Global Rallycross Fiesta. And uh, we've recently kind of made it a very high priority to make sure that all of our performance cars have kind of a sister racing car and uh, you know exchange ideas and uh, get those racing drivers into our cars so you know tomorrow you'll be able to see all these uh, global rallycross fiestas across the street you'll see uh, Tanner Faust, Ken Block, all those guys we we bring those guys in they drive our uh, Fiesta ST, Focus STs, they, they give us input, they give us ideas. We're starting to bring them into advanced product development now for future products. So really a great technical exchange and uh, philosophy exchange. We, we've also launched an ST Octane Academy at Miller Motorsports Park. So if you buy a Focus ST or a Fiesta ST, you get a, a, a voucher to go uh, to the ST Octane Academy in uh, Salt Lake City. And so everyone can uh, bring out their inner Ken Block uh, in, a, in a Fiesta. We showed a video of the Ford GT. And uh, you know, right after we did the Ford GT, we did the Shelby GT500 and worked with Carol. And uh, unfortunately, Carol's not still uh, here with us. But uh, I think his, uh, his, his drive and his spirit lives uh, really strongly within us. And, uh, 
the Shelby GT500, we just launched that in uh, 2013, 662 horsepower. It's been an absolute smash hit uh, in the market. We can't build enough of them. We spend a lot of our time figuring out how to make more engines. And uh, so we've really been proud. It's kind of a great statement for the outgoing uh, S197 Mustang line. Go ahead and roll the video. We're here in Whitman, Arizona at Speed World. It's a drag strip very close to our uh, Arizona proving grounds that we come out and test at. We are here to test our launch control system for the 2013 Shelby GT500. We're only about a month away from going into high volume mass production. Uh, so this is one of our final opportunities to make sure everything is functioning properly together. I'm just trying to try some different launch speeds and check out the system and see how robust it is and you know, see how, how well the car performs. We like to do our drag starts with various conditions and here at the drag strip it's a high grip condition. The drag strip is a very unique situation for any car, but the GT500, its one core attribute is ability to go fast in a straight line, especially on a drag strip. This vehicle is 650 horsepower and 600 foot-pounds of torque, uh, so with all this extra power and torque, we really need help with balancing it, that traction. And with launch control, it makes it a lot easier for somebody that is not doing it every day to be able to come out here and have a lot of fun and be more consistent than they would if they had to just control the RPM launch with their foot and then do everything else on their own. To use launch control system, it's very simple. Once you start the car, the advanced track system is already on by default. You push the launch control button, the icon pops LC, put your clutch to the floor, car in first gear. Press and hold the gas pedal, and then it'll hold the RPM set point, and then quickly and smoothly release the clutch. The cars are doing really well. We're getting some good numbers. We've had favorable results. Uh, the launch control works well in the conditions that we've tried. The engineering and the stretching of the parts and the components to its ultimate limit is by far the biggest challenge uh, that we went through and we've gone through to get the car to where it's at today. It was a, an absolute <laughs> balls out challenge for us to try to do it and we did it. That, that quarter mile time actually, Motor Trend actually uh, clocked, uh, tested a GT500 at zero to 60 in three and a half seconds and uh, quarter mile in 11.6 seconds. So those are pretty stout numbers from, uh, for a $55,000 uh, production car. Last car I want to talk about is the Raptor. Uh, you know, the Raptor was uh, uh, really kind of a special, special idea. And, uh, you know, we started talking about this truck in uh, 2008 in the height of the recession. Uh, gas prices were shooting up. It was uh, really not a good time for the auto industry. And, uh, you know, not only was I trying to uh, sell a business plan and the vehicle program to our senior management, but I also had to talk our own team who had never done an off-road truck into, into uh, thinking it was a good idea. We actually, uh, if you, uh, we actually made this video, go ahead and roll the video, uh, that we brought this video of testing into a senior management review and uh, to try to convince uh, our, our board to uh, fund this program. And uh, it had a pretty rough ride. It was uh, actually, the program was canceled four times. And every time it was canceled, we uh, reconfigured it a little to bring it back. And uh, you know, the rest, uh, as you say, is history. There's, uh, we went from making one of these per hour at our uh, assembly plant to then two an hour to then three an hour. We're now making five Raptors an hour. Uh, out of our Dearborn truck assembly plan. It's been an absolute, uh, absolute smash halo for the whole F-150 line. Uh, you can see it uh, jumping through the air uh, out in the parking lot uh, with the uh, Vore cars. So um, it just goes to show you, it's, I think it's an incredible lesson. There's so many entrepreneurs out here 
I think it really goes to show you that if you don't have a brand, the Raptor, when we developed this, the Raptor brand was nothing. In, in the off-road world, the SVT brand was nothing. And it just goes to show you that if you focus and, uh, into making an absolute spot-on product, you will make the brand. And that's, that's always been my philosophy, is that the product makes the brand, the brand doesn't make the product, and a Raptor is living proof. It's, it's now become the, the off-road brand in four years. Uh, so really great case study. And you know we couldn't have done it without uh, a lot of the performance partners, uh, all of whom have displays out here. Uh, we, you know, we've worked with Bilstein for our on-road stuff. We worked with Fox Shocks with our off-road, with Recaro. Uh, and it's, uh, it's really a great marriage. Uh, there's a company uh, that makes the tire gate that I actually, uh, uh, the gentleman that owns Tiregate came up to me, gave me a business card when we were developing the Raptor, said, hey, I make really cool uh, tire carriers, pre-runner tire carriers, and three years later, they're popping those things out of the uh, Ford Racing and Vehicle Personalization Catalog uh, at a healthy clip. So, uh, you know, you, you never know who you're gonna run into out here, and that's why uh, we love SEMA. So that's, uh, that's kind of an overview of what we've got going on at Ford uh, performance uh, right now. So we're really happy uh, and really excited about the future too. Thanks.